The defendant will rise, face the jury, and hearken to its verdicts. Put in the wrong stack. Yeah, you may be seated. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? You have heard, heard the clerk reading verdicts finding the defendant guilty as to each count of the information. Um, I'm going to pull you by seat number one through six across the top, seven through 12 across the front. If you agree with each and every one of these verdicts, Finding the defendant guilty is charged. Please respond by saying yes. If there is any of the verdicts with which you do not agree, even one, please respond by saying no. Were these and are these now your verdicts? Number one? Yes. Two? Three? Yes. Four? Yes. Five? Yes. Six? Yes. Uh, six? Yes. Oh, no. Five? <laughs> Five? Yes. Okay. Six, no, seven, seven. Yes. Eight? Yes. Nine? Yes. Ten? Yes. Eleven? Yes. Twelve? Yes. All right, uh, any further requests with respect to the jury? Not from the state. No, Judge. All right. Um, folks, I want to thank you for your service in this case. Uh, uh, you, uh, I could not have asked for a more cooperative, uh, pleasant jury to work with. And uh, in no way am I counting, uh, commenting whatsoever on the outcome of the case. In terms of the uh, uh, length of the case uh, and uh, what the original expectations were, uh, some of the interruptions and long breaks, and uh, I could go on, you have been, uh, I, I've never worked with a more patient and cooperative jury, and it's been a true pleasure for me to do that. This is uh, far more important than most people realize. I mean, our, our entire freedom in this country is dependent upon people like you who take time off at great sacrifice to perform this service to uh, their fellow citizens. And uh, it's a guarantee of freedom uh, against oppressive government that other countries don't have. And uh, it's because of people like you that it's kept strong and handed down to our children and the generations which, which follow us. So uh, there is no uh, way I could adequately express the gratitude we have for you folks. And uh, I want to advise you that you're never under any obligation to discuss your service on the case with anyone. You're welcome to. You, uh, there are no restraints in terms of uh, how much or how little you want to discuss it. Sometimes people will contact you. Um, very rarely, the uh, some of the lawyers sometimes will contact people and just ask for pointers or whatever. Uh, sometimes the media will. 
Uh, I haven't seen a lot of that uh, lately. But uh, keep in mind that you're welcome to talk or welcome to say, I don't care to do that. And uh, you're ready either way, whichever way you decide. Um, there is only one possibility that you would ever be required to answer any questions about your service here. That's very remote. I've been in the criminal courts over 50 years. I've only had one case where that occurred, and it was a very minor matter. Uh, so I would not expect that you would uh, uh, be asked to do that. If that did happen, that request would come directly from the court and would be a court proceeding here in the open court. Other than that, you don't have to answer anybody's question if you don't want to. Um, you're ineligible for jury service for four years. You've already done. They want to know if they can have a lifetime. <laughs> a lifetime exemption. That I, don't, I can't do, but uh, you certainly have earned one if that's what you wanted. But uh, I'm hoping that maybe one or more of you may have... Uh, enjoyed it enough that to want to participate again, but in any event, for four years, you won't, you shouldn't be contacted about jury service. And um, go with our greatest gratitude and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you. If you need uh, work, papers for work or anything, just see the bailiffs. Mr. Gravely. Judge, I'd move to revoke bond and ask the court to set a sentencing date. Defense? Judge, we would be uh, asking the court to enter uh, judgment notwithstanding the verdict. All right. The state's motion will be granted. The defense uh, motion is denied. Uh, and set a date for sentence. Pre-sentence investigation is ordered. Uh, the defendant's bond is revoked. The defense is going to want to prepare our own sort of memorandum. So the week of, for instance, uh, the May 29th, two more weeks from there, maybe late that week? No, I have a trial in Oconto County. I have a trial also. How about the week before, May 22nd? I have a trial then, too. Yeah. Maybe late in the week? Very, very late in the week, maybe? How about June 12th? What about June 8th? Trial. June 9th? June 13th or 15th? Um, how about the 15th? In the morning? June 15th is a Thursday? Could you do the 16th? I, I could do the 16th as well. Um, well, could. Um, this is going out a little bit far. Um, if we could go back to May, was that May 16th available? Um, it, is for the, it is for us. 